yeah I, I got the same same theories too and i mean part of it as like a analyst now per se like, like for the network I, I look at the team the constructed with so many pieces talented pieces that they could afford because i got jalen hurts in that rookie deal right now and i was even just doing homework just like on the soup in the history of like the salary cap i guess it's never been a quarterback to win a super bowl it's, it's taken more than like i think it's 12.2 percent of the the team salary cap space when you think about it, it makes sense because it's the ultimate team game and, and the Eagles, the reason why I'm picking them to win is they got the best team. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's 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 gonna be that's gonna be the thing in football. You know, in basketball, you can have a couple a couple high paid guys because you only got to pay a few guys, and mm-hmm. and they play know, both basketball is court. yeah, basketball is a team game. But one one or two big time players, you can you can dominate and win a game. Football is so different. It takes a team. So if your quarterback is taking up the majority of your salary cap, then you just don't have enough money to to buy or put enough good players around them. Mm-hmm. So then that's why you see most of the time those guys have the most success when they're on their rookie deals but they're good enough to play. You look at the Russell Wilsons in Seattle, right? He's on his rookie mm-hmm. deal, but he's good enough to make plays. But he got a good offense around him. Marshawn Lynch had Percy Harvin there at one time. He had yep. tight ends. He had a good offense. Then you look at the defense. They had a good defense, right? Well, then once it's time to start paying people, you know, nah. People got to go because we ain't got enough money to pay everybody. Um, So that happens a lot for the most part. It's hard to find somebody, like you say, that that has a max deal or a super high deal as a quarterback, and they go and win a Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes would be probably the first and probably one of the top guys because he does have a a, a huge contract, and I don't know how how it's all, you know, worked up you know, as far as what he's getting paid or salary-wise or salary cap-wise at this point because he did a 10-year deal. So they can – they move money around so many types of ways to where Patrick Mahomes may yeah. be literally counting $16 million against the cap, but it may be making $45 million uh, in the first couple of years of that deal. But then on the back end, once he gets, you know, out of the bonus money, now he's going to be counting seventy million dollars against the cap, and then you're going to see a restructure if they feel. You know what I'm saying? They they figure yeah. out how to do all that trash. Um, but yeah, it, it you know Jalen Hurst is in that situation where he's on a rookie deal, but he's good enough to lead a team. And by him being on a rookie deal, you can put so many other pieces around him because he's not taking up all your salary cap. Yes, it's one of the things I catch flack for here. I- Here's the thing about me, man, is I'm always like tell it how it is or how I truly feel. And I get that uh, the Detroit Lions had a, you know, over 500 record this year. And I always catch flack because uh, Jared Goff is on one of them deals where he's on the back half of it, where he's getting the the big money. And I just feel like I think, you know, if you, if you draft a, a rookie quarterback, you just odds tell you is, is you know, you're more likely to win the big game. I'm not saying you can't win games with Jared Goff because obviously – they won nine of them this year. But, I mean, he's even the perfect example. When he went to the Super Bowl, he was on his rookie deal, and that team was stacked. Yeah. They had yeah. Sue, Donald, they traded for Rams. You know what I'm saying? Like, the thing was was popping. And I, I just catch a lot of flack for that. So, I guess I want to get your opinion on it because it does kind of stem off the Jalen Hurts being there. And like you said, though, even if Patrick Mahomes does it this year, okay, he's one of the best to do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that would be right. out of the 12% rule. He's like one out of 28 at that point. And, like, <laughs> right. Jared Goff ain't that. All due respect. All due respect. But yeah, yeah, man. I mean, that's that. That's that's how it is, man. It's tough. It's it. It, it really is. So it takes it takes a lot of good people around you, a lot of good players to to win a Super Bowl, health, and like you know, you look in Dallas, they deal with that, right? Like you mm-hmm. pay Dak a lot of money, and everybody sitting here say this and this and that. CD Lamb is on his rookie deal. What happens? <laughs> what happens when they gotta drop CD Lamb 
twenty million dollars a year, and you dropping Dak forty million dollars a year. You got sixty million a year in two players. Yeah. Oh, Tony Pollard is like you know what I'm saying. You just can't yeah. pay everybody, right? Like Zeke is still getting paid. They're gonna have to cut Zeke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's things that's gonna have to happen. But there's three players. You need somebody to protect them. You need some old linemen. You need yep. guys. But you spending so much money on two or three players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like uh I mean, no, it, it's and and you can perform well. Like you said, like we see we see go off there, but at the end of the day, the teams are actually like getting the chips that you know, that they got the full teams because they're on deals like that. Um that contract conversation stemmed to take another one with another host at Wilbur Sports. Uh, my guy Neil, shout out to him that they're on from, uh, from I believe it's like eleven to one. But uh, he, uh, we had a debate yesterday, and it, I just guess I was looking for like some clarification because we were talking about how you get the the signing bonuses, but as it pertains to the cap, it's kind of prorated across like the contract. Do you? Because you signed with Detroit, did you get a signing bonus? I'm assuming. Hmm. Do you get all that money up front or do you get it as it is displayed across like the cap? Like one year you get five million of it. The next year you get the other five million of it. Or do you get it all like up front? Well, your signing bonus, you get it based off of how they how they structure it. Okay. Depending on and that would depend on the team, the money, the owners, how they want to do it. Right. So they could say. They could say, all right, you sign a $40 million deal and we did a $10 million signing bonus, right? Yeah. Well, you sign five-year 40, $10 million signing bonus. So that $10 million is going to get calculated over the course of the five years. So that $10 million is going to count $2 million a year against the cap. Right, mm-hmm. but you're gonna get that money within the first year. That's why at the beginning of a deal, these guys only count three or four million dollars against the cap because the bonus money that they're making this year is say, say they sign ten million dollar signing bonus, right? Well, I can make your salary four hundred thousand. And this year you will make seven point four million mm-hmm. because I'm gonna give you seven million in well you make ten point four million right so you yeah. say you got a ten million dollar signing bonus but you got eighteen million dollars guaranteed right so that first yeah. year you get ten million dollars in your bonus money. But your salary is only four million dollars. I mean four hundred thousand dollars, right? So you made ten point four million in the first year of that deal, but you only counted two point four million against the cap because the signing bonus is prorated over the five years. And when your salary is only four million. So in that first year of that deal, you made ten point four million. Yeah. But you got 18 guaranteed. So in the second year of your deal, you make the other eight in roster bonuses, probably report bonuses, there's different bonuses, yeah. right? And they can still keep your salary low. So your salary might be two million dollars the second year, but you got eight million in bonuses. So now you make 10 million dollars your second year. So now you signed a five year 40, but you're making 20 point something in the first two years. Yeah. But a lot of it is bonus money. So your cap number is low. That means the next three years of that deal is all salary. Mm-hmm. So you say three divided into 20 would we'll just say roughly six and a half million dollars a year. But you got to throw in the bonus money proration. So you throw in the signing bonus proration. That's going to put you at two and a half million dot two million dollars. So now we're paying you six, but you're counting eight. Mm-hmm. Right. 
So that's why you get some of those guys towards the end of their deals and they become cap casualties because we're paying you $10 million a year, but you're counting $20 million against the cap. But you're not worth $20 million. Yeah. So we got to cut you. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. they, you made a lot of money up front, but now that's on why the I back end, like that. yeah, on the back end, it's all salary. So that's why you get guys that get extensions. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're still playing at a high level. So instead of having this money all in salary, let's do an extension and then we can change some of this to bonus money and yep. then continue to prorate the what's them cause to keep the numbers down. So that's why I was saying Patrick Mahomes is in like the first, first or second, maybe third year of his 10 year deal. Yeah. So his salary cap number may be lower right now. Because mm -hmm. they probably just giving him a lot of bonus money, but in the next four or five years, his salary cap number gonna be super high because all them prorations gonna be adding up. Plus, his salary is gonna be higher. Yep. So then they're gonna have to either extend him or, you know, whatever. Because that's just yeah. kind of how it works. So, but they can structure your bonus however they want to do it, right? Like for mine, it was I signed. I think three weeks later, I got like the first installment of my bonus. And then like October the 1st, I think I got another installment of my bonus. And then like March the 1st or something, I got another, you know what I'm saying? They can kind of do it, I guess, how they want to do it. And I guess depending on the cash or the owners and the organ, you know what I'm saying? They make it say, all right, we'll give you all yeah. of it up front. Or they might say, hey, we'll give you half right now. And then November the 1st, we'll give you another half. I mean, you get the other half. All right. So if you got a $10 million bonus, you take five right now. And then come November the 1st, you get the other five. So that's kind of how that works. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, Josh Allen, for instance. I know he signed his deal a couple years ago, but this year he was actually at sixteen million uh, towards the cap, and you know that's they brought in Von Miller. That, that's when you go all mm -hmm. in. That's when teams go all in. When you got those like you know those few, yeah, you know a couple years was it's cheaper. Then after that, that's when you start seeing dudes get cut or traded. Yeah, and 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 you know if Josh Josh just signed his deal, right? Yeah, I think Josh, it was either last year or two years ago. Year before. I think it's yeah, year. so them first two years of his deal, they still have him at a low number. Mm -hmm. And they were Once slick with it too. The third, huh? Because they, they were slick with it too because they pocketed his like fifth year option in there too. I'm saying that. that yeah. Yeah. The first round rookie. Yeah. See, that, that's they do all that stuff because that's how they can, like I say, they can give you a lot of money, but you mm -hmm. don't count that much against the cap. Yeah. And for a player, they don't care about the cap. They want the money. Yeah. Right? I don't I don't need I don't care that I count 20 million against the cap. You're only paying me 10. Yeah. But I don't care that I count two against the cap. You're paying me 20. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You paying me 15 million dollars, but I only count three against the cap. Perfect. Yeah. Who cares? I'm getting 15. <laughs> I mean, that's but, that's one of the reasons Tom got so many rings, is like he always renegotiated yeah. kicked the can down the road took less money because he knew it's it a team game man mm -hmm. you look at the guy with the most rings that's that's how he played it he, he wasn't stupid i mean he's still great yeah. but he wasn't stupid yeah. yeah i mean that's how that's how you gotta be